I'm not going to make a comment now, two years or so later, two and a half years. Is it three years? Oh, nearly. To, to S0517. Um, wisdom. I want to uh, make it clear what my present answer is. Solution to living which is I, I take um, John 17 as help, great blessing, emphasis on power. You see, I, I feel much happier hoping in the existence of a loving, heavenly, infinite Father. I mean, I can't quite define what it is, who, who he is, but... Um, but loving and able and, yeah, creator of all things. Um, the perfect friend who gives me access to being, well, really, perfect friend to him, too. And to all life. I know what I want. I know what I value. I don't know what is, but I do know what I want. And therefore, in, in the absence of knowledge, of certainty of things to the contrary, I choose. I choose to hope in this and not something less from my point of view. And, and does this bless? Does this work? My reply is yes, I'm far more optimistic, hopeful, um, happy, um, Alive, joyful, I have a reason to get up in the morning, if you know what I mean. Um, yes, I have a reason for living. Um, you could say I imagine good things, as opposed to imagining terrible, harmful things that would depress me and frighten me and make me cower. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm starry-eyed in that sense. I'm flying. And let me boast for a moment and lack of humility and all the rest of it and perhaps arrogance, but I'm a joy to be with. I, I purpose to be a joy to be with. I want people to be alive, happy, blessed. I'm seeking all sorts of opportunities to help to be a, a blessing to to find joy in being a blessing and to give joy and to rejoice and uh, optimistically handle the problems of life um, and actually have rescues too um, whether it's a practice like Korean breathing or a diet like fruitarianism, uh, in some measure, you know, according to what a person can uh, happily adapt to. Um, a basic beliefs like uh, the existence of God existing, being a person and a lovely person. Uh, perhaps a dad, or perhaps some um, divine mum, but, oh well... I go on in being a, a perfect dad, but really in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, he, he made them male and female. He's, obviously, he's, he's, he's the best of all things. Um, I don't have a pronoun that's appropriate. I can't refer to him as it without destroying his persona, and I don't want to do that. So I say to him, heavenly dad, and I run with that. But sometimes I run with Dearest friend, wonderful friend. Yeah, okay. It's not too well defined at times. I mean, I have the assurance, how could I possibly in my present state um, grasp the fullness of his goodness and loveliness? I just... Now I love to believe in such. And that such brings such blessing and joy. 
And yes, I have other practices which are panaceas, and one is um, what's a good and lovely think on these things. I've got an absurd one, you might think, for miracles, which is thank God for the bad things too, in trust. And it's not so absurd when you think everything I have is not of my own achievement at all. I just find that God has made it possible. I, I long to have someone who I can be thankful to. Well, why not choose to believe in such rather than choose not to? What's the advantage in choosing not to? No gain at all. Well, it's obvious what's best to do then, isn't it? So yes, I have all sorts of uh, um, quirky ways. But they bring joy. And fullness of life. And I'm flying. And I want others to. Why? Well, I suppose it's a part of the overflow. I mean, I'm, I've got this super um, shalom uh, experience which overflows with. It's a joy to give. It's a joy to be a blessing to others. Hmm. Well, well, well. How lovely. How absolutely unspeakably lovely. <laughs>